Shaba Barasu Torakata. Praise you, Jesus. Praise your Holy Spirit. Sakaraka Shoto Roko Soto. Father, you are good. Rababa Soto Roko Soto Rabasa. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Come on, somebody. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Lord, you are good and your mercies endureth forever. Glory to God. People from every nation and tongue, from generation to generation, we worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we worship you for who you are. We worship you, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, we worship you for who you are. For you are good all the time, all the time, you are good. You are good all the time, all the time, and you are good. You are good all the time, all the time, and you are good. You are good all the time, and all the time, you are good. Lord, you are good, and your mercies endure forever. Mm -hmm. Lord, you are good and your mercies endureth forever. Come on, somebody. People from every nation and tongue, from generation to generation, we worship you. Hey, hallelujah. What's up, people of God? Give us some hearts and likes. Bam, bam, bam. Blessings to you. From the beautiful nation of Cuba. We are still here in Havana, Cuba. Amen. I want to thank you all for your love and your prayers. My gosh, God has been so good. I just want to talk to you uh, about the miracle testimonies. Oh, Jesus. Caraba. All the glory goes to God. We've had such a tremendous time here in Cuba. We love Cuba. We love what God's doing here. And we know revival, radical transformation is here. Can I get an amen? But I want to boast in the Lord of all that he did. The Lord is so good, so kind. And it's such an honor to partner with souls and for nations. Really, the Great Commission. Can I get an amen? Well, listen, after I share about just, you know, just keep you up to date. And, you know, I want to I wanna testify, right? Because y'all are praying with me. We're partnered together in the glory of God for the kingdom oh, of Jesus. Hey, and so I want to testify about the beauty and the glory of what God is doing, give you a miracle report. Can I get an amen? As well, I'm going to prophesy about the next six months, my friends. I'm telling you, there's such a wind, such a fire, such a favor. And the next six months, God is going to show up and show off. I know I've been talking about it in social media, but now we're about to step into July. And once we step into, cross over into the month, the realm of July, get ready for fire, freedom, and fireworks. It's going to be awesome. And guess what? In two days' time, I am releasing the prophetic word for the month of July. All right? Get ready for the prophetic word for the month of July. And that's going to be, uh, we're going to be ministering that in two days, June 27th. But obviously, I'm still here in uh, Cuba. Tomorrow, I fly off and I'm, returning back home to the United States. So pray with me, pray that, amen, that we are under radar, that God continues to keep me hidden, that uh, I'll be able to transit through in Jesus' name by the blood of Jesus. And I'm flying directly tomorrow to Kansas City, Kansas. That's right, Kansas City, Kansas. We're gonna be surrounded by all of the cornfields and all the bugs and humidity of the beautiful Midwest of America, all right? And this weekend, I'm actually ministering. Well, Mama Pastor Suzanne Hen, my spiritual mother, the 
beautiful, beloved, blessed wife of Pastor Benny. And I'll be ministering with Pastor Mama Suzanne Hen this weekend in Kansas City, Kansas. Somebody say amen. Bam, bam. I feel the fire of God. I've missed you all. I hope you're doing well. Come on, let's give the Lord some hearts and likes. And please share this broadcast. Spread the love because the man of God, Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, is in the house. And you know what? We are alive and well. And we are plundering the gates of hell. We are plundering the kingdom of, of the devil, the kingdom of darkness. And we're, we're recovering, gaining souls and treasures in the hidden place. God has been moving so powerfully. Listen, I want to prophesy. The next six months, there's going to be such a speed, such a wind, such an acceleration. Can I prophesy to you? Amen. Come on. Get hungry, people of God. Get active. Give us some hearts and likes. Spread the love. Come on. Get active in this place, in this atmosphere. Come on. The, the, the prophet, the prophetic voice is here in this broadcast. And I'm broadcasting live to you from Cuba, from Havana. You see the beautiful view. God is good. The weather's been awesome. Amen. But uh, let me know where you're watching from so I could give you some shout outs. And then I want to just share a, a little bit about the miracle report here in Cuba. Actually, let me let me give the miracle report here in Cuba. Listen, we did six straight days of ministry, four different churches, okay? And these churches are under the radar, you know what I'm saying? And uh, because Cuba, it is what it is, right? And so here, and we're believing it's gonna shift and change. <laughs> in Jesus' name, somebody say amen. And so we minister six straight days in, um, in four different churches. Powerful, beautiful. Mass deliverance broke out. Healing miracles. Uh, on, on Friday night, uh, there was a, there were two young ladies actually. You gotta hear this. Friday night, there were two young ladies. Both of them were born with deformed feet. They were born crippled and their feet were inward like this. So, you know, a lot of pain when they walk, you know, and since birth. And I remember I prayed for one girl. She was 12 years young and she came up on stage and testified that God had straightened her legs out. Come on, crippled feet from birth. All right, partially paralyzed, a lot of pain in the body. But in the presence of God in the arms were, bam, her feet, all right, uh, grew back. Right? It grew back and, and she's able to walk and jump and glory to God. God is good. We had at least two, three reports of hernias about the size of golf balls. Hernias dissolving instantly in the presence of God. Incredible. Uh, another story of a woman. She had a huge lump on her, uh, on her arm, totally dissolved, disappeared in Jesus' name. Ho! Oh, I'm telling you, mass deliverance, fire of God, souls being saved, one for the glory, for the gospel of Jesus. So let's give it up for the Lord. Come on, give us some hearts and likes. Um, touching thousands of souls, honestly. And you know, I don't want to be too long-winded in this, even though I really should boast in the Lord much more. Uh, but because God is moving in Cuba, God's moving all across the earth. The Bible says in Isaiah, even the islands will praise the Lord. Can I get an amen? Even the islands, even the island nations, these little nations that are just like a dot on the blip on the radar of a map, they matter to God. And you know what? A lot of these island nations, they actually stood with Israel, like Samoa and Fiji. These little island countries, they actually stood with Israel. Can I get an amen? And Singapore is an island as well. I see you, Miss Sandra. God bless you. But you see... We touched thousands of souls this week. And let me tell you, friends, it was not an easy week. A lot of warfare. A lot of warfare. A uh, lot of warfare. Very different from the first time I came. This is my second time now. But a lot of warfare, but God is good. An example, uh, our, our host, uh, you know, was driving our rental car. Boom, hit the rental car. All right. The other car is, is quite damaged. So we didn't have our own car our own vehicle for about five days and we had to drive a distance. And you know, just all these things like that, the devil is a liar, but God is moving like never before. And thank you for your love and your prayers as we've ministered here in Cuba, six straight days of glory, bam, 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 bam. So many miracles, so many healings, salvations, delivered, mass deliverance breaking out. Get ready for some of the videos, amen. And as well, we had the great honor and privilege to meet with the main apostle, Father, of the land here in Cuba. And his church probably had about 1,200 people on Sunday. Live television, the main apostle, man of God, uh, here in Cuba, we had the great honor of ministering really at the main church 
uh, of revival, of the apostolic prophetic here in Cuba. So all the glory goes to God. Such an honor to be received and honored so well. These Cuban people, they love and they honor so well. I love Cuba. And uh, they received us at the largest, biggest church here in Cuba. So all the glory goes to God. Something happens when the fathers and mothers release their blessing and receive you. Can I get an amen? And I would declare over you, God is mending the gap. He is healing the bridge. He is bridging the gap. There is an anointing of restoration of family and generations that's coming over us in the name of Jesus. If you believe it and receive it, I want you to say amen, amen, and amen. Listen, I want to prophesy. I want to talk to you right now about the next six months. And come on, people of God, I know Meta's been really weird. They've laid off, what, thousands of workers, tens of thousands of workers. But I'm declaring over you on this platform that Jesus is King. Jesus is Lord. He's seated on the throne and is moving all across the earth. Amen. So from my life right here, right now, where we are, we release blessings. And may you receive it afresh. In Jesus, my name. Somebody say amen. So listen, I want to talk about the next six months. Because the Lord said, you will get more done in the next six months than the last 60 years combined. Listen, I want to prophesy over you, okay? You need to receive this. God's going to do more in the next six months than the last six years combined, okay? There's a strategic, supernatural realm that's over the next six months, all right, number one, I believe with my whole heart, President Donald J. Trump will win. He already won. It's in the bag, but we need to continue to pray for the full security of the manifestation of the prophetic word that's been declared by his prophets. Can I get an amen? So that's just one huge mega breakthrough in Jesus' name. But you see, in the next six months, we're going to see more we're going to see God move more. We're going to see more miracles, more turnaround, breakthrough, restoration, recompense, more souls being won. In the next six months, you're going to see so much more of God's miraculous activity and divine intervention than the last six years combined. If you receive it, say amen. So I want to prophesy uh, what you can expect in the next six months. Because here, let, let's go to the first passage here. And if you're with me today, say amen. My gosh, my gosh, I feel such a glory. And the Lord prophesied that we are in a summer of revival, okay? We are in a three-month window of called the summer of revival, summer of miracles, and a summer of harvest. So God's doing so much in it. All right, we're, we're just about to finish June, then July and August. I'm telling you, friends, July and August, bam, bam, bam. There's going to be such breakthrough. There's going to be such acceleration increase because it's going to shift us into the new Hebrew year, 5785, Rosh Hashanah, the head of the year. So probably in the next month to two months, you're going to be hearing me publicly declare the word of the Lord for 5785 and even 2025, all right? Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper, all right? Do, does anybody believe that there are true, genuine, authentic prophets and prophetic voices still around today? If you believe that, say amen. If you receive it, somebody say hallelujah. So these next three months, my friends, and we're already June down and we're about to go into July and August, but the Lord said this is a summer, a three-month window of the summer of revival, summer of harvest, okay? Now, we're, as we're stepping into the month of July, and remember this, I'm going to be ministering the prophetic word of July in two days' time, okay? So in two days' time, we're going live prophesying about the month of July. So make sure you tap into that, and, uh, and that's going to be two days from today, June 27th. But here, Haggai 2, 9. The latter glory of his house, this house, will be greater than the former. Somebody say greater. Says the Lord of hosts. And in this place, I shall give the ultimate peace and prosperity, says God. Amen. Now, this is talking about the latter glory, the greater glory of the house of God. All right. Now, of course, this is about the reconstruction of the temple in Israel. But let me ask you, are you not the temple of God? Are you not the house of the Lord? Let me ask you this. Is this year not like a house? All right. You have to understand that time is like a container. Okay. Every realm measure of time is like a container. It is a measurement. It is a container that holds host something. 
Kind of take a little bit deeper here. You see on day one, God created this. On day two, God created this. On day three. So the realm of time is a container measuring the movement and the activity of God. If you believe that and receive that same man. So here the Bible says, the latter glory of this house will be greater than the former. So I want to prophesy over you that the next six months, the second half of 2024, you're going to see a move of God. You're going to see God move on your behalf. There's going to be acceleration, debt cancellation, miracle breakthrough in the name of Jesus. The next six months, get ready for God to move in fire and in power in Jesus' mighty name. If you believe that, say amen. I got two more verses for you. Then I'm going to keep preaching and prophesying. Come on, continue to help me to build up the room, the atmosphere. Somebody say amen. Isaiah 40, verse 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. I declare over you, a new strength is coming. A new joy, a new energy, a new grace, a new glory. Amen. Listen, even as I've been here in Cuba, I mean, there's been so much completion of projects. Listen, I want to prophesy over you that every delayed project is being completed. God is finishing. There's a finishing anointing coming upon you. There is a finishing anointing. Come on, we break off the spirit of delay, procrastination, and laziness. There is a finishing anointing coming over you. And in the next two, three months, God's going to finish the... Oh, Rabbi, I feel the Holy Ghost. Listen, y'all better pray out loud. Come on, reka sotoro. A finishing anointing. God is about to move on your behalf. So those who hope in the Lord, they'll renew their strength. They wait on the Lord. Those who hope on the Lord, can I get an Amen. Your strength will be renewed and you will soar on wings like eagles. You will run and not grow weary. You will walk and not be faint. That is the anointing that is on the next six months. All right, the next six months. Watch what God will do in the next six months. Watch what God, I'm telling you, increase upon increase, glory from glory, miracle to miracle, heights to height, faith to faith, breakthrough to breakthrough. Come on, somebody. God is about to show up and show off if you believe it, say amen. Now, I want to give you one more verse here. Hallelujah. Raka, if you're with me today, say amen. Hallelujah. Matthew 20, verse 16. Matthew 20, verse 16. So the last shall be the first, and the first, oh, will be the last. For many are called, but few are chosen. Now, we know in the scripture, Jesus Yeshua uh, referenced this as those who believe or receive Jesus or quote unquote, the calling of God, the calling of ministry. So the last will be the first and the first will be the last. Friends, the last will be the first, which means the second half, the latter half. Listen, ah, you felt like you were second in line. You felt like you were behind, but you will be the first, you will be the head. God is about to switch a rude things in the spirit. God's about to turn things around. Come on, somebody. You're going to go from the tail to the head. God is about to bless you big in front of your haters in Jesus' mighty name. The next six months is going to be supernatural. Listen, I want to declare over you. You are going to testify that the next six months is all done only by the hand of God. But God. Just God. You're going to declare and testify that the next six months are so supernaturally, miraculously intervened, intertwined with the finger of God that it's going to be undeniable. It's going to be irreprovable. It's going to be, it, there's going to be such an evidence of God. Hey, Karabat, listen, you are God's testimony. Get ready to testify. Get ready to praise Jesus. I prophesy, I declare over you right now, the next six months, a new wind, a new fire, a new glory, a new movement, a new revival. Mega moment, racaso, mega momentum in the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen and amen. Listen, three things real quick. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Three things real quick. There is a second wind in the second half of 2024. I want you to come a second wind. Now, what a second wind stands for is it, it means a, a new strength it means a new strength a new ability ah you were tired you wanted to give up you wanted to tap out you were crying you were crying a river but a second wind comes to get the job done 
My gosh. So number one, a second wind. Number two, a fresh wind. <laughs> a fresh wind. Listen, there's a lot of activity happening. California fires, New Mexico fires, storms, weather, record-breaking weather in Arizona. Come on, somebody. But there's a fresh wind. Now, what does that mean? A second wind stands for a new strength, but a fresh wind stands for refreshing, okay? This second, this fresh wind, excuse me, is going to be refreshing. And you already know that the winds stand for the angelic. The winds stand for angelic assistance that is being released on your behalf in the name of Jesus. So get ready for a second wind. Get ready for a fresh wind, a spirit of refreshing to come upon you like the cool of the day. And all of God's people say amen. And number three, get ready for a new anointing. God is mantling you afresh. Listen, we just finished 21 days of prayer and consecration. So all of those who prayed and fasted with me and with our ministry from June 1st to June 21st, I want to publicly congratulate you and say salute, love you, bless you, praise God. Listen, in those 21 days, I received three miracles, three blessings on my life in those three weeks of prayer and fasting and consecration. Come on, somebody. God knows. God knows. He wants to bless. He wants to give. He wants to honor. But when you choose to humble yourself and to consecrate and go deeper in prayer, especially corporate unity, not just personally, but corporate unity. Man, June 1st to June 21st, Araba Soka, we, we did 21 days of prayer and consecration. There was about 100 of us that committed to this cause. Amen. And I'm telling you, in those three weeks, God answered three major uh, prayers or God released three major blessings in my life. Hallelujah. And also other prayers have been answered. Can I get an amen? And one of them is meeting with Apostle Gilmo Maldonado. And I'm, I'm not going to talk too much about that because I already said enough, I believe, in the last broadcast. But one of them was meeting a great general, man of God. Hallelujah. Apostle Gilmo Maldonado. Seven years of waiting. Bam, come to pass. And the other one, I'm not going to talk about another one. Uh, there's three personal ones. God is so good. He's so specific. He's so personal. He's so detailed. He's so perfect. But there was three. And one, praise God, listen to me now. Yesterday, we received a large financial donation to the ministry. And all of God's people say amen. Come on, give God some praise. Yesterday, we received a large financial donation for the ministry. And you need to hear this because on Friday, which was June 21st, on Friday, June 21st, as we ended the 21 days of prayer and consecration, the Lord spoke to my heart, get ready for a $15,000 check. Because again, we're going to India, we're going to Singapore, Indonesia. I mean, we're doing conferences, crusades. There's so much we're doing, guys. We've got a crusade in Mexico in September, we got October, Kenya, Uganda. I'm going to Asia. I have a seven week tour in Asia, South Pacific. There's so much we're doing. Amen. The next six months, God will do so much more on your behalf. So the Lord spoke to my heart on Friday. Get ready for a 15K, one five K check. And he said that on Friday as we completed the 21 days of consecrated ban. And then guess what? Yesterday we received the news that we received a 13K donation from one of our generous donors. Let's give it up for the Lord. Somebody say amen. God is not a man that he should lie. He's not a man that he, and those are two out of three. The third one, I got to keep it a secret until the right time. And no, it is not a wedding. It is not a marriage. Can I get an amen? <laughs> that will soon come in Jesus' name. Somebody say hallelujah. All right. But the next six months, there's going to be such an expedient anointing. Such a speeding up revival, a second wind, a fresh wind, and a new anointing to come upon you for the next six months. I want to declare over you, in the next six months, you're going to see God do more in the next six months than the last six years combined. And if you receive that, say, I receive it the next six months. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch what God will do. Somebody say amen. Listen, I want to I give you three prophetic points the next six months. If you're with me today, say amen. Come on, give us some hearts and likes. Amen. Come on, give us some hearts and likes, my friends. I want to give you some shout outs here. I did not give any shout outs yet. I'm just on fire, just going bang, bang, bang in Jesus' name. I'm so 
grateful. Wow. There's just so much movement, activity, overflow, and we're getting so much done by the grace, the glory of God. And you know what, guys, listen. You don't, you don't know the sacrifices I and we make. You know what I'm saying? Like we, we were just in Miami before coming to Cuba and like we paid our own way as a ministry expenses and we were in the red for that weekend. And that shouldn't be because you should, there should always be honor for a man or woman of God for a ministry. Amen. And we're believing for over, but God knows how to bless you in unusual ways. Can I get an amen? So Juan, I declare new job, new promotion over you, Juan, in Jesus' name. Antoinette, the fire of God. Tina, the fire of God. He did by some Verna, yes, bang, 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 God knows. Hallelujah. Skip, God bless you. Maria, God bless you. Lozada, amen. Shirley, God bless you. Reka, Deshini, amen. Good to see you guys. Miss you guys. Lisa, and yes, and Esther. <sighs> Katie, Suzanne, good to see you. Bless you. Shirley, yes. Nakita Rai, come on. Rika, Jacqueline. Rika Sotarabata. In the mighty name of Jesus, Tammy Green, God bless you. Listen, I speak favor all over you. Divine favor over your life. Somebody say amen. If you receive it, say amen. Listen, I want to prophesy. My gosh, I want to prophesy right now. In the next six months, expect these three things. Are you ready, friends? Are you ready? In the next six months, Get ready for these three things. Amen. Get ready for these three things. Number one, there's going to be acceleration. The next six months, acceleration. I want you to comment acceleration. What does acceleration mean? It means it's speeding up. It's increasing in power and in speed. There is an unstoppable momentum. In the next six months, there's going to be such a speeding up. You better buckle up your seatbelt. Uh, you better grab those handles because it's about to choo, choo, choo. It's about to be lightning fast. It's going to be moving at the speed of light. God's going to do such a quick work. It's going to be so, I mean, guys, we're already halfway through the year of 2024. And praise God, because we're getting closer to the exit of Joe Biden, Shanghai Biden, amen, of this commie, right? This socialist, this Marxist, the biggest warlock that the earth has ever seen called uh, George, uh, called Joe Robinette Biden, right? What a name, right? I mean, is it enough that his son is, is snorting crack cocaine in the White House, the highest governmental office building on earth? Are you kidding me? With, with videos, uh, anyways. But I'm telling you, we're, there's going to be such an acceleration, such a speeding up anointing. Everything's going to increase. Going to go higher and higher. It's going to go faster and faster. Bam, 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 bam. It's going to happen. At the Listen, I want you to clap. That's how fast it's going to happen. That's how quickly it's going to come. And soon enough, it's going to be like this, 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 this. this, 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 this. God is going to shock out of God is going to move so fast, so quickly on your behalf. That right when you blink your eye, you're going to be shocked about the suddenly that God has done. Somebody say amen. Come on, if you receive it, say amen. So number three, acceleration. Get ready for great, great acceleration in the next six months. Number two, get ready to excel. I want to say excel, okay? There's going to be such an excelling anointing taking place. And let me tell you, my friends, and thanks for all the angry birds. I, I see a lot of, I don't see enough, actually, demonic manifestation. I've seen a lot of demons manifest this weekend. So reveal yourself, Satan. All right, uh, number two, you're going to excel. Now, what does excel mean? To excel means to be superior or to surpass an accomplishment and achievement. To excel means to be superior or to surpass in achievement or accomplishment. So as you accelerate, you will excel. That also goes to the the excellent spirit, the spirit of excellency, moving with a spirit of excellency, like Daniel, like Joshua, like Caleb, all right, like Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, the three friends of Daniel, that, that talks about having a good heart, a good soil. Can I get an amen? And God is causing your spirit to excel. In the next six months, you're going to accelerate and you're going to excel. Now, you know, we, we don't want no sloppy Joes. We, got, we already got a sloppy Joe in the White House, in the witch's house. But you see, we don't want no sloppy Joes, which means that as you excel, you accelerate. 
All right, I, I want to give you this example real quick. Imagine a smooth, newly fashioned asphalt road. All right, they just constructed it, boom, fresh asphalt. You could smell the asphalt. You could, you could feel the heat off the fresh asphalt on the road, on the ground. And imagine versus uh, a road of dirt with a lot of potholes, a lot of kids, a lot of cows, a lot of animals, stray dogs like Cuba running around. The difference, all right, when you excel, you accelerate. How much faster would you go, would you be, would you do on a new clean paved road versus a road of dirt and potholes and kids and wild animals, stray dogs running around? So the spirit of excellency releases acceleration. And God is saying, you're not going to be sloppy as you speed up, but you're going to be more excellent. Can I get an amen? As you speed up, as you accelerate, you're going to be even more raka. I'm telling you, these people, these devils, you give me one second. They are bothering me. These shaka raba. Hello. I'm telling you, y'all, after 60 countries, after 60 countries, eh, but it's Cuba and God's bringing revival. But anyways, so acceleration and excel. Number three, the third thing you can expect is exponential growth. Exponential. Somebody say exponential. And the Merriam-Webster de definition dictionary about exponential says multiply effect and efforts. All right. It's a snowball effect. So God's about to multiply your effect and efforts. Do you know what I did? They call me. I unplugged. The devil is alive. Stop bothering. I rebuke that spirit of hindrance, disturbance, annoyance. All right. I'm telling you. Ah, shut up. God bless Cuba. Exponential increase. Do you know how many monitoring spirits we've had this week? It's crazy. I'm telling you. Like the last time I came to Cuba, like not even one heckler, okay? Not even one heckler. But this time, it's a multiple every single day. Bang, bang. Get in a car crash. Get the rental car taken away from us. Bang, bang. And, you know, have a demoniac shouting, yelling at me that he's going to kill me. Bang, bang. I mean, so much fun stuff. But it's because of the regional breakthrough that we had and we experienced. Somebody say amen. Exponential increase. Friends, the next six months, God's going to do so much more with you in the next six months than the last six years come by. Hey, and expect acceleration to excel and exponential increase and growth. If you believe that, I want you to say amen. Hallelujah. Come on, say hallelujah. Raka soto. Raba soto, raka rababa, reka sotoro, in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Amen and amen. Raba soto, sharabaso. I'm telling you, friends, God is good. He's seated on the throne. The next six months, you believe that? Watch what God will do in the next six months. Listen, I need your prayers, I need your love. Because in July, all right, I'm going to India for two weeks, going to Singapore, Indonesia, going to Thailand, Samoa, Fiji, and New Zealand. I mean, that's like seven, eight countries in a matter of seven, eight weeks. It's going to be a big tour, big trip for us. We do got our crusade in, in Tijuana, Mexico, and we got two crusades in Africa in October. But I'm telling you, God is going to show up and show off. He's going to blow your mind. If you receive it, say amen. Give us some hearts and likes. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Give us some hearts and likes. Rakasata. Listen, today I want you to sow into this word. Come on. The next six months. You will get more done in the next six months than the last six years combined. There's such an anointing. I, I can literally feel like a wineskin's bursting. These wineskins are bursting in the name of Jesus. A favor, opportunity, 
grace, oil, abundance, harvest. Amen. So I want you to sow a seed, bless the Lord, obey him, be generous, partner with souls, partner with the harvest. And I want you to comment acceleration as you sow a seed. I've pinned the ways to give and partner with this ministry. Let me tell you, friends, there's no greater honor than partnering with a soul winning ministry. And you know what? You may not be able to go to all these countries, but by the grace of God, he's allowing me and our ministry to be forerunners, to be hands and feet, boots on the ground. And together we're winning souls, touching nations for the glory of God. Listen, even some of you consider becoming a monthly partner. Consider becoming a monthly partner with me in this ministry because we have many great things that we're doing and this is just the beginning. Can I get an amen? Friends, I want you to come in acceleration as you sow. Obey God. Raka, be led by the Holy Ghost. Not the, not the spirit of stingy and not the spirit of poverty, but by the spirit of faith. Sow where you want to go and grow and together we will reap and share in the harvest. In Jesus' mighty name. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Six months of exponential grace. Rabata. Amen. 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 Katie, Suzanne, thank you. Bless you. Charlene Moonzemi, God bless you. Sonia Dion, Tina, God bless you. Glory be to God. Rabba Sata, come on, Maria. There's such an anointing in this atmosphere right now. The fire of God, Maria, God bless you. Reka Sata, Manoa, God bless you. Yeraba Dashini, God bless you. Yeraba Sata, Demetrius, thank you, God bless you. You can even make a pledge now, amen. If you make a pledge, you could comment acceleration pledge, hallelujah. Nikita Rai. Nikita, I do have a word for you, all right? Glory be to God. Rabba Sotorototo. Sharama, I do have a word for you, Nikita Rai. Amen. Let me just zoom in to your face here on a little a profile thing. Hallelujah. Come on, if you're with me today. nuh -uh. You will, you will not knock on that door and bother me in Jesus' name. The Lord rebuke you. Oh, yes, Nikita Wright in Dubai. Listen, Nikita, the Lord says, I see you, I hear you, I'm with you. And even now, the presence of God is gonna overwhelm you. His presence, his love, his pleasure is gonna overwhelm you. And he says, I've not forgotten you. And every spirit of what feels like separation or loneliness. I just see the Father's love coming and hovering over you, and it's like a cloud that's hugging you. Thank you, Father. The Lord says, Shana mandiara blatata. Well, you know, I've been singing this song a lot in the last month. Hush, little baby, don't you cry. Daddy's right here is gonna dry your eyes. Hush, little baby, don't you cry. Daddy's right here, he's always by your side. So thank you, Father, for the tears of the righteous, for the tears of the intercessors. The Lord is blowing you a kiss. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Rama, ma, ma, ma. Prophet Luis, God bless you. Love you and miss you. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. As you sow, come and acceleration. Come on, so into this word today. Lozada Marari. I'm telling you, friends, the Lord is blessing us massively because we're being obedient. Like I said, y'all don't know the sacrifice, the seeds. Y'all don't know, all right? God knows, and that's why he blesses us. And you want to partner, align yourself with ministries, men and women of God that are flowing in the anointing of God. Amen. My gosh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Judy Nieto, thank you. God bless you. Rababasa, hello, Bula from Fiji. I can't wait to see you guys very soon. Amen. Pastor Sharon, love you, bless you, praying for you always. Karen, Tom, thank you for the pledge. God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And listen, friends, I want to remind you the prophetic word of the month of July. It's going to be in two days' time from now. Jackie Bird, God bless you. Two days' time from now. My gosh. Jesus. Do you feel that? Like, I just feel such a heavy cloud 
even though it's so bright and beautiful right now, like a heavy cloud of glory. Like, you know, it's heavy about to pour out rain. Like the wineskins are about to burst and you are giving birth. Bursting, bursting up from the ground. We feel it now. We come alive in the river. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lift up your hands. Father, I declare right now over every single person who has faith, and receives this prophetic declaration. You will see more done, finished, accomplished in the next six months than the last six years combined. Get ready for God to move heaven and earth on your behalf. Fresh wind, second wind, a new anointing is coming over you. Hurra kasata, huh, push, and you will see a second wind, the second half of 2024. Bam, bam, bam. Get ready for miracle signs and wonders. Hallelujah. And the next six months, God will do more than the last six years combined. If you receive it, say amen. Hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord a mighty clap. Come on, hallelujah. Hey, can I give the Lord some hearts and likes in Jesus' mighty name? Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, friends, we are, meta is crashing, y'all. And we've been talking about this, prophesying about this for years. It really is a sign of judgment. But meta is crashing. I mean, look. I only got 40 people watching live. Are you kidding me? There's such a shadow ban, the algorithms. But that's why, friends, you need to follow me on YouTube. All right, move on over to YouTube. Amen. And we hope to see you there. But you're going to be seeing me here on Facebook, Meta. The Lord loves you. God bless you. Thanks for all the love, partnership, for the seed sown into this prophetic word. Watch what God will do. God bless you, love you. Continue to keep me in prayer as I return tomorrow from Havana, Cuba into the mainland United States. Amen. And I'll be ministering this weekend in Kansas City while Mama Pastor Suzanne Hinn. Amen. The, the beloved wife of Pastor Benny Hinn. They are both my spiritual parents and pastors. Love you, bless you.